I found this story, my unforgettable teacher, in an old magazine, and I really thought it was was cool because of how indicative of the time it was written, which was probably 1900, 1920 era. So anyways, my unforgettable teacher. It was Friday, the dreaded test day, as I called it in the uh, fifth grade. And no matter how well Ruth had studied her lesson, on test days, her mind was blank as, as her... Uh, turned in papers seemed to prove. <laughs> this was the dreaded day, and the feet of the little girl lagged as each step brought her nearer and nearer to school and to the test. And suddenly she was startled by a tap on her shoulder and the sound of a well-known voice, the voice of her teacher saying, shall we walk the rest of the way to school together? As the kindly teacher took the hand of the nervous little girl, they talked of various things. Gradually, as the teacher spoke quietly to her, Ruth became calm, and one could see that she was enjoying this walk to school. The tension and fear had passed, and as they neared the school, Ruth shyly looked up and uh, said to her teacher, Miss McClan, I enjoyed walking to school with you. You told me so much. You told me quite a bit too, my child, said the uh, smiling teacher. Then she stopped took out a pen, and on a piece of paper wrote a note and handed it to the child, saying, Will you please take this note back to mother? Don't hurry too fast. You won't be counted tardy. As she took the note, <laughs> greatly concerned, uh, the little girl asked timidly, Won't I miss the test? Whereupon the teacher replied, Don't worry, Ruth. You had the test on the way to school, and you passed it. God put many wonderful people in this world, uh, to me, mine was my teacher. And to those who did uh, did not know her personally, she might have been called a, a raw, uh, raw-boned, homely spinster school teacher. But to me, who turned out to be her adoring pupil, she was an angel, an unforgettable person, the memory of whom has lasted throughout the many years.